night. Welcome to the High Five Sci-Fi Show. I'm your host, Bobby McPherson. Well, tell me, Toasty, what is the future? What is the featured musical guest today on the High Five Sci-Fi Show? Well, Bobby, today's selection is Quark, Strangeness, and Charm by Hawkwind. Wow! Now that's a sci-fi group I've ever saw one. Which, re which reminds me of our guest today. Well, Bobby, what is today's guest? Well, Toasty, I'm glad you asked. Because today's guest is about as high as about as sci-fi as it gets. He's a guy by the name of Ropor, a superhero, if you would. And he's hasn't been featured in any talk show yet because he's too hardcore. So, ladies and gentlemen, folks at home, let's do a big, warm round of a welcome for Ropor of the Dorky Living Rope. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Bobby. Welcome Thank to you. the show, Ropor. Yeah. 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 All right. Woo. Okay, well, Ropor of the Thank you, rope. Bobby. Yes. Thank you, yeah. Bobby. Uh, right, it's right. good to be here on TV where I belong. Wow, and it's it's good to have you, Ropor. Yes. Now, I tell you, did you tell me a little bit? Did you tell me a little bit about yourself and your rope? You mean what is my actual power that makes me too too hardcore to be on a TV show in such a glorious manner? Well, sure. What is your power? Toast, you don't mind me set you over here, so okay. as you don't block the glory Bobby. of our host. Yeah. Well, my power. I have an actual power which is the power to implant desires into people's minds. I, it's funny that you should have mentioned that, because coincidentally I have a strong desire to glorify you and your glorious legend. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, in addition to my desire implantation of psionic abilities, I also have a, uh, a living rope which I, with which I can lasso pretty much anything and it's a rope. Well, that's quite an amazing power. I don't really have any strong urge not to desire your rope, so I'm just gonna say I must be quite a fabulous rope. Well, you see, actually, it's a dorky rope. Dorky? Which is why I'm called Rope or of the Dorky Living Rope. Yeah. Dorky? What do you mean by dorky? Is it even alive? Well, yes. Well, actually, yes. It's alive only when I lasso it out and, and twirl it around. But yeah, when it is alive, it's the dorkiest rope. Well, I mean, I, I, I love your gold lame cape, and I love the, the, the flares of your pants, and I, I, I say you bring out the rope. Let's see it. Uh, actually, I'd rather not, Bobby. No, 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 I'm not, you, don't give me any of that. Let's, let's see the rope. No, I'm sorry, Bobby. I, I'd rather, it's, it's such a dork, it's for the best that I don't get him out. Well, well, folks. I don't get them out. Well, well, folks. Tell me, you folks in the audience, do you want to see the rope? Come on, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Bring it out. Yeah. Yeah. See the rope? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Then bring it out. Come on. Just a little flicker. Come Sorry, on. Bring it out. Sorry, yeah. Bring it. Whoop it out. Come on. Sorry. Just, just a little flicker. Come on. No, I'd rather leave him tonight. Le leave him on my show. You're, you're gonna refuse to bring out your rope on my show. But it's, it's gonna be a glorious rope. It's, 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 it's your rope legend. Sorry, buddy. Bring forth the legend of the rope. Sorry. Come on, give me the flick. Hey, hey, come on, give me the hey, flick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I bring out hey, the rope. Please. No, come Bobby, on, please. Yeah, Bobby, I mean, uh, come on. Oh, careful, I, hey. careful. It's oh, this good rope. Come on, uh, bring it. Oh, do do do. Whoa! You got to make sure I don't. Whoa! Oh, oh! Like I would really lasso somebody. What? I just went to the new Tracky Con and got to hear the new Def Leppard album. It was the greatest thing I ever heard. Def William Leopard. Shatner's a great man. <laughs> what? what, what? Did Shatner? Wait. Yeah, Star Trek is what? great. He passed his prime in the 50s. Passed his prime in the 50s. Have you ever seen Rescue 911? It's great. <laughs> That's not even science fiction. It's my it Those dramatizations are. But. Yeah. Yep. Real poor. Get this dorky rope off of me. Sorry, Bobby. 
I was advising the contrary, and you, but you wanted to see the rope, to see the rope, and I advised the contrary, so you got to see the rope. Yeah, but, 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 th this, never before have I seen such an exemplary example of dorkiness. Well, I'd like to thank my guest, Ropor, and his truly dorky living rope. Uh, and now, this is the part of the show where we dance. Who'd have thought a rope could be such a dork? I, I know. I, tell you what, I call this dance my robotic dance of rope disillusionment. Join us next time for Boris Prochnow. You know, that guy from Dune that played, you know, Boris, not Boris, but Duke Guido. Yeah, that's it. Boris Prochnow from Dune. <laughs>